Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you're at in uh, your part of the world. Welcome and uh, greetings. Uh, today is the 14th of December, and we're going to be covering this topic on division, not divisive. But before I get started, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And we're going to sing today's scripture song, and then a VBS song today, uh, didn't get any comments about uh, which song you would like uh, me to sing today, so I'll just uh, pick one randomly, and we'll go ahead and sing it. Amen. There's lots of good ones, uh, and so praise the Lord for these scripture songs that Brother Dean and Sister Patty have written a long time ago, and you can find them on their webpage, website. All right, so today is the 14th, and we are on letter N, and it'll be Romans 8.37, so let me press play here, and we will... Sing it out. Amen. Hope you like to sing. And Romans 8.37 8, Nay, in, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Hallelujah. In all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Through him that conquerors these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us more than conquerors in all these things we're more than conquerors more than conquerors more than conquerors So, we will go ahead and sing one of the VBS songs. Let's see here which one we could sing here. Let's go ahead and sing Books of the Old Testament. Let me find what track it is here. Or track, I should say. Not gospel track. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. 30, let's see. Was it 35 or 36? Number here. <laughs> In the book of Revelation. Oh, that wasn't it. Okay, what was. Alright, that was. So, so, two more. Okay. So that was track number 38. Let's try. I think that was that. Alright. Here we go. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right, so let me go back there to today's scripture song, and we'll do those a few more times towards the end of the broadcast. Amen. So, put this aside here and grab the devotional book here. And so today is Monday, December 14th, and the title here is Division Not Divisive. And the passage is from Luke 12, 51 through 53, and it says... Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. And this is Jesus speaking, so he says, Suppose ye that I am come to give pe uh suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division, for from henceforth there shall be five and one house divided, three against two, and two against three. The father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father, 
the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Luke twelve fifty one to fifty three, and our author today is D C. That is the initials for uh, Dennis uh, Corley, C O R L E. I'm not sure if the E is silent or not. Coral or Corley. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. His last name. And he's an evangelist from Claysburg, P A. Amen. So let me read you what he wrote today on this division, not divisive. He says fundamentalists and separatists are accused of being divisive, though that though that should never be the case, as I believe, he says, there is a certain element of truth I'd like to point out. Okay? He says I should not have a divisive spirit, but the spirit or excuse me, but the fact that I am going to stand with truth and principle does cause division. It sure does. So when you stand for the truth and stuff, it does cause division. Division means to rend or to cleft. Uh, how many of you believe that we're supposed to be as much like Jesus as possible? Hmm. Was Jesus holy? Yes. Was Jesus separated? Yes. You say, but he went to the house of those publicans and sinners. He says, I know. He had a meal with them and talked to them about himself. Amen. He won many publicans and sinners to himself, but he never endorsed what they were doing. Right. And we should never endorse what others are doing that are sin. And even ourselves, we should endorse uh, our flesh. Amen. That's a good lesson there for not endorsing our flesh, <clears throat> crucifying it, keeping it dead. All right. So he says, but... He never endorsed what they were doing, and <clears throat> he never identified with it himself. He spent the majority of his time with his disciples and the lost world. Amen. Uh, so, in our scripture, Jesus said, I didn't come to bring everybody together and start an ecumenical movement, right, <laughs> as the government likes to do, or these communists like to do, start some kind of ecumenical movement or some utopia but jesus said i didn't come to bring everyone together and start an ecumenical movement i didn't come to bring pe peace at the expense of truth right i came to divide i came to rend and separate isn't that something yeah isn't that something jesus is a separatist hmm interesting so he causes division, and so the truth will cause division, because not everybody likes the truth and doesn't want to follow the truth. So let's learn to follow the truth, amen, as Christians, and be more Christ-like every day, and learn what Jesus wants us to learn, and grow, amen. Praise the Lord. All right, so that is the end of our Baptist Bread devotional topic on division, not divisive. All right, so put that aside. <clears throat> now it's time to... Get into another lesson from the 24 Lessons from Jonah book by J. Bennett Collins. And this is the cover. I know it's backwards on the screen here. So that's the cover of the book. And we're on lesson number 11. And it's titled, jo Jonah's God Alone Had the Remedy for the Circumstances. Jonah 1 and says, And he said unto them, I am an Hebrew, and I fear the Lord the God of heaven, which hath made the sea and the dry land. Every mariner had prayed unto his God. These were men of faith, but unfortunately faith in the wrong gods. Before and since that day, men have called on their gods for help and deliverance to no avail. From the sun god, Allah, the molten gods in Egypt, the material gods of the Americans, the no god of communism, the sports gods of the civilized heathen, the carved gods of the jungle, to the self-god of the New Age movement. All man-made gods have fallen flat as the statue of Dagon fell before the Ark of God. First Samuel 5, 2-5 says, When the Philistines took the Ark of God, they brought it into the house of Dagon and set it by Dagon. And when they of Ashdod arose early on the morrow, behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the earth before the ark of the Lord, 
and they took Dagon and set him in his place again. And when they arose early on the morrow, morning, behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the ground before the ark of the Lord, and the head of Dagon, and both the palms of his hands were cut off upon the threshold. Only the stump of Dagon was left to him. Therefore neither the priest of Dagon nor any that came into Dagon's house tread on the threshold of Dagon and Ashdod until unto this day. You would think by now that men would have learned from experience just who is the true God. Right, you would think that. Uh, however, in the, his rebellion against his creator and the blindness of his mind by Satan, man continues to worship at the shrine of false gods. Hmm. Second Corinthians 4.4 4, In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Jonah had not lost his recognition of God. He knew full well that God did not want him in that ship, but wanted him on his way to Nineveh. It will be a happy day in any man's life when he learns that God's way is the best way. Amen. Jehovah God alone has the power to still the storms and calm the waves. He alone can bring safety and tranquility to the life. Uh, there are still many wonderful, benevolent, kind, and generous people in the world. They can bring you temporary substance and consolation. God alone can bring spiritual guidance and sustaining comfort. False religion can help temporarily by giving you a false sense of security. When the real test comes, it must fail, for it has no power and will leave its worshippers unprotected in the storm of God's judgment. No God, no hope. False God, false hope. True God, great hope. Amen. And that is the end of Lesson 11. And tomorrow we'll cover Lesson number 12, which is titled, With, Sing uh, with Sinning, with Sinning, Christians with removed, God can bring peace. So that will be lesson number 12. With sinning Christians removed, God can bring peace. So that will be tomorrow's. <clears throat> and now let me go ahead and grab the scripture song book. And we will sing today's again along with uh, the VBS song. And then we'll do, we'll go ahead and do a uh, review scripture song. We'll do a different one. Uh, Today we'll go ahead and sing along. All right, so let me press play here. <clears throat> and Romans eight thirty seven. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through Him that loved us. Here we go. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through Him that loved us. More than conquerors, nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors, to him that loved us. More than conquerors, nay, in all these things, more than conquerors, to him that conquerors. To him that loved us, to him that loved us, amen. All right, so let's go ahead and do today's VBS song again, and turn there, there in the book here, these pages want to stick together for some reason. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's go to today's VBS song and sing the books of the Old Testament. Alright, number 38. Press play there. <clears throat> Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 
First and Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. Amen. All right, so I'm going to do something a little different here. won't sing yesterday's uh, scripture song, but we'll go back to the second, and we'll sing Revelation 3.20. And it says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And then uh, Brother Dean does two knocks. And then he says, um, then he goes on with the scripture, If any man hear my voice, and then three knocks, and open the door, I will come in to him, and will sup with him, and he with me. So two knocks, and then three knocks. So let me go back to, all the way back here to the second day of December on the CD, number two track number two and we'll do that one and then we'll go back to today's and do today's one more time all right i really like this uh scripture song here <clears throat> here we go B, revelation, revelation 3 20 behold i stand at the door and knock if any man hear my voice open the door i will come into him and sup with him and he with me so remember two knocks then three knocks Hold I stand at the door and knock, a man hear my voice. Behold I stand at the door and knock, if any man hear my voice. And open the door, come into him, and will sup with him and he with me. And open the door, I will come into him, and will sup with him and he with me. Behold, I stand at the door and knock, if any man hear my voice. Behold, I stand at the door and knock, if any man hear my voice. And open the door, I will come into him. Amen. All right, so let's go back to today's. For the 14th, and we'll finish up with today's scripture song. All right, let me go ahead and get there. All right. <clears throat> and Romans 8, 37. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Amen. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors. Through him that loved us more than conquerors, nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors. Through him that loved us more than conquerors, nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors. More than conquerors, more than conquerors, through him that loved us, through him that loved us. Amen. All right, well, that will conclude it for today's broadcast, but before I go, let me go ahead and give you tomorrow's scripture song, and it will be letter O. And the song, um, the song is from Psalms 69, verse 5. And it says, O God, thou knowest my foolishness, and my sins are not hid from thee. Amen. So that will be tomorrow's scripture song. And then tomorrow's topic will be titled, Christ Gives Eternal Life. So another one of these Christ Gives... Uh, devotionals topics from brother tim green and this one is eternal life that god get or christ gives amen so and 
he's gone through these throughout the uh, last two months, different ones. So if you want to go check those uh, out, uh, you can go look them up on previous broadcasts. So that will be tomorrow's topic. Amen. And that uh, is uh, tomorrow's topic. And if you'd like to get uh, these devotional booklets, this is uh, the cover from last month and this month. And so if you order now, you'll probably get the one for January and February for 2021. And here's the information that you can either write to them or check out the website. And here's the address. It's Baptist Bread at 37055 Joy Road, Westland, Michigan, 48185. And their phone number is 374-425-0466. And their email address is bb at joybaptist.com. And that's right here in the United States of America. And Brother Tim Green's information is... Evangelist Tim Green at P.O. Box 1, Day Heights, Ohio, 45150. And the website is www.timgreenministries.org. So that is the information for that. And if you would like to learn more of these scripture songs, you can do so by going to Brother Dean and Sister Patty's website at www.dailyscripturesongs.com. And this is the cover of the songbook. As I said before, uh, backwards on the screen... I still don't know how to flip this around and how to do that, so I apologize, but uh, do the best we can. Amen. And so that will be uh, the website to get these scripture songs and read their prayer prayer letters and find out what's going on with them and what's going on in Port Kaituma and other areas of uh, Guyana and pray for all missionaries around the world. Pray that God will continue to allow us to get out there and go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature and that missionaries will be get be able to get where they're needing to go, and uh, those that have come off the field for a time being, that they'll be able to get back on the field to get back to where they're going, and that all this uh, will end here soon, sooner than later. And you never know, Jesus might be getting ready to call us up. So um, keep preaching the gospel until then, and let's go out there and do what God has us would have us to do. Amen. And praise the Lord. And also be covering uh, lesson twelve. From the Jonah book here, 24 Lessons from Jonah by J. Bennett Collins. And I have some information here, like I said before in my previous broadcast. Not sure if uh, any of these uh, ways to get a hold of them is available still, but this is the address here. It's Sermon and Song, Inc. at P.O. Box 5400, Greenville, South Carolina, 29606. And the website is www.sermonandsongministries.org. And then there's an email here, jbencol at charter.net. So that's how you can get a hold of them and maybe find a way to get a copy of this book here. Or you can probably research it up on the internet and look for it online somewhere, Amazon or abooks.com or one of those uh, used bookstores that are on the internet and look it up that way. Amen. Uh, that's the best I can tell you to do. So if you're looking for that book, amen. All right. Well, I'll be back here, Lord willing, a little later to give you the daily Bible reading as we go through the book of First Thessalonians, all five chapters today. And then tomorrow is Second Thessalonians. We're flying through the epistles here because it's getting down to the end of the month. or We're right in the middle of the month here. So we uh, got um, First Thessalonians 1 through 5 today. And then tomorrow is Second Thessalonians, all three chapters, and then so on and so forth. So I hope you'll join me later on for that. And again, if you would like to hear a certain scripture song from uh, this month's CD, or perhaps maybe a, a uh, favorite of yours from a different month, um, maybe I can do a cappella. not too good at it, but uh, or maybe I'll put another CD player up here, and we'll do this month, and maybe, uh, maybe do a... Um, one from another from another month. If you have a favorite from a different month, you can always put it down in the comments section, and perhaps I will try to uh, do that request for you. Amen. All right. Well, till next time, may the Lord richly bless you and help you have a great and wonderful rest of your Monday. Remember, Jesus saves. Believe on Him. All right. Bye bye for now, and thanks for watching.